Hey, it's Chris Callan, masteryourmoneynow.com.au, helping you take control of your finances from the comfort of your own home. And in this week's Whiteboard Wednesday, we're gonna be talking about how to use your super to buy your first home. Because it's a relatively new concept, it's only come into force uh, about two years ago, but something that may be a benefit to those who haven't purchased their first home, but wanna do that while saving some tax at the same time. So, here's how it works. So when it comes to your superannuation, your employer puts in 9.5% of your salary. That cannot be accessed to purchase your first home. However, if you elect to make additional contributions to your super in terms of salary sacrifice, if you haven't heard of salary sacrifice before, check out our previous Whiteboard Wednesday video. But if you put extra money into your super via salary sacrifice, you can use that to purchase your first home. Now, why would you do that? The reason that you would do that, because there is a tax benefit of doing that. Effectively how it works, if you've got a, so the maximum you can do is $30,000. Uh, over a period of time, that's the, end, uh, the lifetime limit at, as it currently stands. And by putting your money into superannuation, you actually get a 15% tax benefit by doing this. So if we do the maths, if you save $30,000 into your super over a period of time at a and uh, get a 15% tax benefit by doing so, that potentially can save you $4,500 in tax. If you were purchasing with a partner who also has not purchased their first home, you can pull both of your finances together, both of you put that uh, savings together save $60,000 and save $9,000 in tax in the process. Now, this is a very simplistic version of what's going on here. There's plenty of other things to consider, consider, including the limits, because there are annual limits as well that you've got to be mindful of. And there's also the investment side of things as well, because we put these in a really growth orientated investment and it goes backwards in value, then that's not going to be the best strategy for you. So, don't try this at home, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Go to masteryourmoneynow.com.au forward slash get started and book in your three 30 minute consultation where we can have a bit more chat about not only this strategy, but other ways that you can uh, build your wealth and maximize your finances. This is Chris Cullen from masteryourmoneynow.com.au. If you enjoyed this week's Whiteboard Wednesday, make sure you share it with your friends, family and colleagues. Looking forward to seeing you next week.